Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? I'm back with not banging with y'all, man. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, subscribe, and go comment, man. So this is, uh, it'll be my week 11 final prediction. So it'll be the Baltimore Ravens versus the Chicago Bears. It's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one. Uh, we cannot lose to a, um, a sorry team. Uh, I know we lost to the Dolphins last week. And uh, we had a bad uh, loss against the Las Vegas Raiders. But we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about the video goes on. And uh, I also got some breaking news for Raiders fans. I know you fans are pretty for sure what ha aware of what happened. But Le'Veon Bell is no longer with the Baltimore Ravens. Um, didn't have a good start. And uh, I would have gave him a chance. But sometimes, man, when, when, you see a, when you see like a rookie or a guy that has some mileage on him, man, I took advantage of that, man. Le'Veon Bell done, man. I understand that he's not the guy he used to be no more. He's not that guy in Pittsburgh. Definitely not that guy in New York. So um, I wish the best for him, man. Hopefully, uh, fi hopefully he finds another NFL team. So hopefully, I highly doubt that he do because of his bad reputation with the teams that he have uh, screwed over in the past. And uh, sometimes you can't bounce back from that, man. That's a bad recommendation to have if you're Le'Veon Bell. So, uh you just got to hope for the best, pray for the worst, man. I want to have him still, but, hey, it's part of the game. got to move forward. They give Devontae Freeman a chance to uh, get more playing time and also uh, number 34, our rookie. But let's go on. Let's move on with the offense, man. So you already know how I start. I start with the offense. So uh, Lamar, man, um, if I'm you, Lamar, I'll just find a way to, uh, to slow down the uh, Chicago Bears defense. They have a, a, a very, very good defense, man. They got Khalil Matt leading the way. They got young talent around them, you know, a good corner, you know, young cornerback. So it's an all-around young defense, which is led by Khalil Mack. And uh, you have to really find a way to slow those guys down. I used to uh, play the run game to help slow the clock because you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you have to hurry up and go, hurry up and go. We don't need that type of offense. We don't need what we saw in Miami. We don't need what we saw in Cincinnati. We don't need what we saw, shoot, in um, Minnesota. Like, we're just taking too many chances of getting the ball in this stuff. We cannot allow that at all. We have to bounce back and just do better on that offense, man. So, uh, like I said, open bounce and pray for the offense, man. He's got to move forward and do better. So, uh, I hope um, my, my, my head's are, my hopes are high for the offense, especially for the receivers too. I think Hollywood Brown has got to get better at catching the ball. I know uh, he's been very streaky with me, and I didn't like that, but uh, hey, it happened. So, um, I just I just uh, wish the best for these guys on the offensive side. And just trying to wait up this, just use time possession up. Because time possession is very key when it comes to running the uh, using the uh, on the, the <clears throat> time possession is very important if you're the Baltimore Ravens. So so important, man. And uh, you already know I'm gonna end it with. I'm gonna end it with the defense and the defense. This we can't. This continue to be dominant. Don't give Chicago Bears any leverage. I know they have a we have a, they have a former uh, guy. Uh, what's his name? Andy Dalton. He's a former Cincinnati Bengals. He's still going to get that revenge, man. I don't care what nobody say. He's like, I don't want to be starting. They got Trubisky. They got Justin Fields. They got a lot of going on in that Chicago Bears quarter position. But the Ravens, we good. We got our starting quarterback, Lamar. He's ready to go. And uh, just watch out for that offense. And this offense is really, really young. They are very talented. They are developing. Um, I just think they don't have the offensive line that they cut it. Or they don't have... He's missing a few pieces on that offensive side or that offensive side of the field. So, um, just got to watch out for Chicago, man. They can duck surprises with some, with some trick plays. But they're definitely known for doing that when it comes to the NFL. But um, this is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting how you move forward from uh, last week's game, uh, last Thursday night game loss against the Miami Dolphins. I know this team is uh, very young, just like the Dolphins, but we cannot give us leverage at all. We have to stay focused. We have to continue to dominate. We got we got a lot of tough games coming out way throughout half of the NFL season. So we got to stay focused. So I just hope the defense continue to dominate. Um, I, I also want to get a shout out to the front seven. They've been doing their due diligence of helping uh, helping Rams stay in the best situation. You know, putting guys like in three and outs and uh, negative money yards on certain plays in the football field. But uh, it's very interesting. I'm very um, I'm very eager to see that when it comes to the front seven. And uh, yeah, already you know I'm talking about. Um, and you know, I ain't gonna forget. Up the second day. Get, 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 get better at that man to man. Y'all need to do something about that man to man. Kyrie, y'all keep letting guys get open 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 wide field like that. I just come on, Marlon Harfield. You gotta do something, man. You be sitting around, letting guys get touchdowns. Uh Tavon Young is out, so we just got we just got a lot of injuries, man. I just don't know what to say, man. Um this secondary is kind of uh, is unpredictable. You don't know if they're going to be in or out. And um, I still got a question, man. Where the hell is Jimmy Smith? I still ain't seen Jimmy Smith yet. I don't know if he's hurt, but 
Man, if he's not, if he's not, me and that NFL, man, because we never had Jimmy Smith when the time is right. And this <laughs> this season going by so quick. A lot of teams are, you know, getting ready for the playoffs. They're looking, they looking forward to putting themselves in the best situation. And us, the Ravens, we have to be in the best situation. So I'm asking this. I'm, I'm saying for the Ravens secondary, please shut down these guys, man. Stop letting guys get open better. Stop letting guys get in that man-to-man. It don't make no sense how they're in a situation they're supposed to be in. Oh, let me get my jacket real quick. I'll be out. But yeah, man, it's crazy, man. But um, that's all I gotta say for the video. This is my final predictions: the Baltimore Ravens and the uh, Chicago Bears. So it's gonna be uh, interesting. It's gonna be a final. It's gonna be a showdown. It's gonna be a one o'clock, one o'clock game. And my prediction for the video: I'll say thirty-one to seventeen. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be like a uh, like a two possession and a field goal type of game. So we are gonna see how it's gonna go down. But all I'm saying, we cannot lose to these bum teams at all. We had to dominate. We have to keep winning. We've done a good job of what we're doing so far in this season, but I know you had some bad starts, but we got to finish strong. So that's my expectation. So uh, like I said, if you're new to the channel, hit that like button, subscribe, and go comment. And I'm out with the world. Y'all stay safe and stay uh, focused. Peace.